Alopecia is the disease that doesn't discriminate. It can happen to anyone at any age. Here's our story. When I was little, my hair was just as long as yours was. Meet Jody Plishka, a loving mother to her daughter, Jessica. Jody was about Jess's age when something life-changing happened. When I was 13 years old, my mom was braiding my hair, and actually she found the size about a quarter on the back of my head, a bald spot. And we went to the dermatologist and found out that it was a condition called alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease. The body's immune system mistakenly attacks the hair follicles, causing bald spots. Jody spent her teenage years getting cortisone injections in her scalp. They were painful, but they helped her hair grow back. Then when I was 20, I was in a really bad car accident. In the days following her accident, Jody woke to find a clump of hair on her pillow, and then more hair in the shower drain, and then more in her hairbrush until it was gone. My once perfect life was not perfect anymore. I mean, how could this be happening to me? Well, that's the million dollar question. What causes alopecia areata? And the short answer is, we don't know. What is known is that alopecia doesn't affect general health and that anyone in any age group can get it. It's more common in children and it runs in families. And so far, there's no cure. There have been reports here and there of, of tr various triggering factors, uh, such as stress, like a divorce, or moving, or viral illnesses. Or a car accident. Dr. Duvik believes the more serious problem with alopecia areata isn't a physical one. We need to pay attention to the psychological implications of having this disease because some people get very, very depressed over it. Jody certainly oh, understands know. that, but with her sense of humor... Those poor people with hair, they can't understand what it's like <laughs> to have a full cranial rub. And her positive attitude, she turned a tragedy into triumph. This is where we started when I had the idea for Headline It. Jody is the inventor of Headline It, a product created to soak up the sweat and oils under wigs, hats, and helmets. Her invention got her to the finals on the show American Inventor. She's also the author of Bella and Gizmo's Adventures, books for children about overcoming adversity, told through the eyes of what else? Hairless cats. Now, after celebrating what Jody calls her 2020 birthday, 20 years with hair, 20 years without hair. Jody wouldn't change a thing. And I looked at every challenge as an opportunity. I think having lost my hair, I found who I am. For Health Corner, I'm Jody Olson. How could you not be inspired by Jody's story? I mean, she's just so there with her purpose and that energy. But if you're watching that and thinking, I'm not so sure about my purpose. I don't know how to find my passion. There are more people like you than Jody, but it's there. You might just have to reach outside yourself to peel back the layers and uncover it. So if you want a little help getting to your core, what really matters to you, a life coach can be helpful. Best place to start is online. So go to healthcornertv.com and click on Sheer Inspiration Coaching.